Sweet. Uh, uh, episode yeah. 50, the last episode of Zio. Yes. So much good, happened. Good with gold. So much happened. Um, it like opens with like this crazy random fight scene chase thing. Oh, that was yeah. the coolest. I like that was my favorite part was the was like the Jason like phasing between. Yeah. Gold like I feel like as a kid, those scenes were really frustrating because you're like, no, just just keep let them keep their superpowers. Like I don't want to worry about him getting hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, yes, like this is awesome. Like <laughs> the moment he could, you know, he could be in danger. So I was really, I was really digging on that. I had to yeah. say I really liked, and again, because I've only watched oh so many episodes, I don't know if this is a common thing for their like chase scenes Mm -hmm. but i really liked from a cinematography view like the very low camera anger angles of him like running and like hiding behind trees it showed low angles instead of like you know like a full perspective of what's happening and i don't know why but low angles always just make me go oh oh something's gonna happen (laughs) it gets me more invested yeah especially with the woods and stuff it gives it like a very spooky vibe yeah yeah for sure and you never really see the rangers retreating you know no. yeah we're scared yeah he's scared he's scared yeah he's like, oh crap and i'm jason you know yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and so then he he he's running from the cogs and then he gets jumped by rita and zed i know i was like they came out of nowhere and and, and i kind of rolled with it out at first i was like oh yeah of course rita and zed mm-hmm. but then i was like but what about the machine empire? Like, I don't like what I, they're I, like, they're stepping on some toes. Yeah. yeah. I was like, were they here? I didn't even remember that they lived in an RV. Like <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. I, I, I was very confused about that. I think their base gets blown up by the machine empire earlier in the season and they live in an RV now. <laughs> so I think they're the- homeless. That's so <laughs> sad. <laughs> well, they deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. They are the bad guys. So then you get, so Jason's running and he's out of breath. He's transforming between Jason and the Gold Ranger. And he had that classic Jason line, like, uh, what did he say? Like, um, like uh, I, I, this is what I thought my workout would be today. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not how I expected my workout to go today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He brings yeah. up workout twice in this episode. Yeah. Well, you, you know, we talk about, we're admirers of Jason's physique uh, in, here at the More Phenomenal podcast, uh-huh. <laughs> and it's it's funny to see like I, when he when he morphed back into Jason. I like I I know we, like we've seen him a lot, but I was like, wow, like he's like a different kind of buff now. Like <laughs> yeah. He, He's like chiseled, like where before, <laughs> like as the, as like as like the Red Ranger, he still kind of had his baby fat a little bit. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And, but like now, like in like with the there black is tank, no baby fat on yeah, that. Yeah, no. Man. This guy, I was like, damn, Jason is shredded. <laughs> like, if Jason like, walked up to me, I'd be like, hey. Yeah, I was, I was like, the, like Zio Jason is super buff or super and, like 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 and tan tone. and tan yeah <laughs> he's, really he's been it. hitting the beach like he's hitting venice muscle beach you know <laughs> yeah, he's going to the workout <laughs> And you're right. You're right about him being so lucky that he gets to wear black like that's like, yeah. like imagine that's if he had a great to wear color gold all the time <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. but i think it's also funny because they keep jumping back and forth from jason running from the cogs and confused why rita and zed are there and yeah jumping to the rest of the team and they're like where is jason wasn't he supposed to do class today his communicator's not working (laughs) what (laughs) like shouldn't you be more worried (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. they they well of course i mean like they start they talk about it enough that you can tell that like for them they're very worried yeah because it's like oh jason should be here yeah they they say it like three times so yeah (laughs) but i love that no one says it at first he's like yeah "Yeah, his uh he he was supposed to show up to the the class and then the girls show up and they're like where's jason and then the one guy goes yeah his communicator is not working (laughs) yeah Yeah. information have been helpful like five minutes ago Yeah. yeah that's a good that's a good point you know and it's funny too because their class is like even though it's cutting back to Jason, immediately after that, it seems like is when Jason like busts in and he's like lands on the mat and he's like all like messed up. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because it's it, it's it's like they didn't even almost it's like almost like they didn't even have a chance to like like look for him. Like I, I was no. I was confused mm-hmm. about how the timing played out, or maybe they just like taught the class without him and that was him showing up at the end. 
like I, I i wasn't sure on how that how that maybe out. class or like they were like wondering why class was late yeah there's there's really no time reference of how long jason has been missing yeah, yeah. but i think my favorite part is that the two villains then get distracted with each other and they yep. completely forget why they're there and he's just like this is my time to make an escape and then he pauses waits and then he decides to go like <laughs> like there is very a theatrical yeah, very that's, theatrical that's yeah. the power in japan of mine thing though <laughs> yeah so you can't <laughs> play to the camera you yeah know, yeah cue up the scenery i can't it, harp on that no but, i just thought it was funny i was like giggling while i was watching that <laughs> right the fight between the cogs and the uh, Tanka warriors are it's is aggressive. pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was that was a skirmish. Definitely. There, there's arm bars. There's what's the right? Rita and Zed's bad guys called? Tangas. They're the they're tangas. the tangas. Yeah. Okay, so the two tangas at the end, right before it goes to Jason, are literally ripping a cog <laughs> up. Like if I was a child, I'd be like slightly disturbed. Yeah, right, right. The, it's they not have even the wires in the background; in it's right in the front. <laughs> yep. And then the cogs. There's two. There's a scene where two cogs are like ripping feathers off of one of them. Yeah. And I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, it's brutal. It's aggressive, and then. <laughs> Then Rita and Zed and the the machine guys, they're just like, yeah, not helping at all. They're just chilling in the yeah. background. <laughs> yeah, they 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 love that kind of stuff. It definitely had like vibes of like Lord of the Rings, like orcs eating other orcs kind of <laughs> mm-hmm. stuff. I was yeah. like, oh my god, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then they play it like Lord Zed's like, yep, uh, we're we're gonna take off of Earth now. You're right. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Vampire, that was weird. Yeah, he's he play he's dumb. He's just like. We won. Yeah. Well, wasn't yeah. it at the very end? That was at the very end. Yeah. Like, well, they, well, they well, leave. No, they leave. They say they're yeah. going to leave. And then later on at the end, he They were like even somebody. more grovelly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, um, so it turns out mm-hmm. Jason, he is losing his powers. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Just like yeah. we. And you really get an idea of how just how powerful, I mean, they talk about how powerful the gold, the gold ranger powers are a lot, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but when, when Jason was like in a coma in the command center and it was, yeah, it was yeah. like, he's going to die if we can't get the gold, <laughs> if we can't get the gold ranger powers out of him. It like, it mm-hmm. finally hit me how just intense these powers are. Like, yeah. I don't yeah, and they didn't even just say he's going to die. They were like, it's draining his entire life force. Like that's yeah. Intense, yeah. really intense way to say he's dying. It's super intense. It, it makes you think that like they should bring up the Gold Ranger powers more often, you know, with how with how intense it is. But yeah. Know. So then there's some Power Ranger like science going on that was kind of just like we need oh to do my. this and then do this and then yeah. I reround it like three times. <laughs> I was like, what is all this alignment of the three planets? I was like, it was so. It's like, it's like only when, once a year can the three planets Treforia as another one or maybe it was like Aquator and Aquator, yeah. yeah will be in, in harmony and it's because of this and it's only because of one day and it's only one time a year <laughs> it's only in one and place if it doesn't hit yeah. the staff in the right spot yeah they're all dead yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was like trying to write notes I was like this is like a test like yeah. what, <laughs> yeah. what part comes before it was like chemistry I was like what part right. comes before the like other part yeah and my thought was like, this is great timing. Like, what if Jason was having this issue like a month prior? Like, what yeah, would they yeah. have done? Yeah, or they had tomorrow. No yeah. For it. yeah, right. No, that's good. That's a great point. They would have given it to Adam or something. Yeah, um, <laughs> like here. But uh, the the after that, we get to some classic Power Rangers fair where they're like, okay, well, because Trey shows up. They're like, we yeah. gotta get a hold of Trey, and they get and Trey shows up, and. I'm, I'm, it's so cool. It's always so cool to see the triplets standing next to each other because it's mm-hmm. like how did, I can't believe they pulled that off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I when, like their robe vibe. Their their costumes are cool. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. I like that it looks like the Gold Ranger. So it's mm-hmm. like it, they feel very like I don't know, not to say old, but like you know, like they've been around for a while. Like they yeah, just seem yeah. kind of like they've got all this wisdom, and they're like, yeah. So we're also dying, but like it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> they, they have very like vintage Star Trek vibes with their yeah. like loose, like V necks and their glitter on their faces and stuff. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. they look anyway. like the dudes who should be piloting the Pyramidus. Well, that, yeah. that, that, they are really, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, w- I wanted to talk about when they get 
into a fight, you know, the Rangers are like, okay, we got to get to that one sacred spot that happens to be pretty close to the command center, I guess. And Rocky, I didn't even realize Rocky wasn't there. I didn't realize he was there, not there either. Yeah, I was like, now I started wondering, was he in the last episode? <laughs> uh, I think he was. He was. He was. Yeah. Okay. But, but yeah, was he there in the gym earlier? No, he wasn't. Uh-uh. He wasn't. I I was like, I felt so bad for Rocky, <laughs> but I'll, I and I think it's because we have Jason, so like the quota was filled. I was like, yeah, there's three boys and two girls. Yeah. But like, <laughs> right. um, but. But I was like, yeah, Rocky. Like, I totally forgot. And then it he just appears. He appears and he's like, Zordon said that you might need some help. And then Jason or uh, uh, Tommy's like, sorry about martial arts camp. Martial arts camp? <laughs> why, like, like, why couldn't Rocky be in this episode? Did you yeah. find out? Why, where was Steve Cardenas? Like, right. I felt, yeah. And then, I have- and then he, it's a final episode of Zio. Like, yeah. what the heck? Yeah. Just like, why, why martial arts camp? <laughs> yeah, what the, well, I mean, maybe it's part of, well, when we watch the Turbo movie, maybe like, we'll be able to connect some dots. But maybe. it's, it's, it's funny. I, I was like, I felt so bad. He was like, yeah. oh, hey, welcome. And I was like, whoa. They teach not- martial arts. Yeah. Like, Rock, why do you Rock, need to go to camp? Rocky's a power ranger. He should be going to the Mortal Kombat tournament. He should be going to like, like freaking like martial arts. Right? Stuff. Yeah. Well, remember he's still in high school technically. Well, I it, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. it did shock me. I went, oh yeah, there. Where is there wasn't a Blue Ranger? I even had to backtrack and make sure he wasn't there. I went, oh right, he was just gone. And we don't even get to see him at the end. Like, there's no like unmasked part. It, no. But you know, in the Rangers, wait, really? Right? He's no, no, he never, no, he never shows up. So maybe something happened with the actor. Maybe something up. <laughs> like I looked he, at notes for this episode, and I didn't find anything like that says like he was doing A, B, or C. I'll look it up. Maybe he had like maybe he had a cold or something, and was like, yeah, I'm not coming in. <laughs> <sighs> That's so weird. That's right. I didn't even realize that until you said that they never unmask him, which means. That wasn't even the actual actor. Yeah, so he was... Oh, I felt bad. I was just like, oh, sorry, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, they get to the thing, and then they... The star or the planets were aligned in the Zeo thing. I can't find it. Everything was fine. Every, uh, well, <laughs> not everything was fine, but they yeah. managed to get the beam. And then they just leave Jason. They're like, okay, see you later. And well, they he just summons run the off. staff. Yeah, yeah. He summons he, the staff. He does his job. Trey gets his powers back. He unites. And it really, like, kind of tracks, you know. Like, there's logic to the fact that there needs to be three of them mm-hmm. to contain the power. Um, but... <laughs> The episode kind of lost me here because uh, the brain is like, they just get really big. Yeah, he's like Gold Ranger power, and then makes them make the make my Rangers grow or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> the Gold this Ranger sense, can do yeah. that. Like, yeah, right. Like, not like like forget the fact that Zio has more Megazords <laughs> than any season. Like there's there's a different assortment of Megazords. There's like like there's like enough for everyone to have two or three. Uh-huh. Yeah. But but they could have just been big them the whole time. Yeah, need, right. Why yeah, do you yeah. need those? Yeah, I was so, and it was the last episode too. Was like where was Pyramidus? I was, I was like very super, let like, down. I was loving that in the last episode. I was like, I where's the where's the robots? It was pretty, I got really annoyed. It was yeah. a bummer. I mean, it was Tommy all was American like, footage, but yeah. yeah. Tommy was ready to call him. He's like, let's get our Zords. We know the deal. Like, yeah. And, he's like, <laughs> and Trey's no, just no, like, no. wait, I've no. got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like they thought maybe it would be epic, but instead I was like, no, this is the end of Zeo. This is terrible. Like, I wanted it to be every Megazord. You have like 11 of them, you know? Yeah. But whatever. I actually will, I, I'll give it to him for it being so different. I did not see It was see creative, this, I guess. I did yeah. not see this coming at all. So I was like, this, save this for the finale, I guess. I think sure. my favorite part, though, was like just like watching it, and you could tell like the hills were like little small, mountain, right? And little, they uh, little mountains, clay hills, but yeah. then 
<laughs> then you've got like Rita and Zed just chilling <laughs> with, oh, with their martinis. martinis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, watching. And they're all tiny, cute. just watching on a cliff. And I was, I don't know why, but that just that made something inside me. I was like, that would be me. Like I would be Rita, <laughs> just chilling with a martini, going, yeah, look, look at them battle, like a hundred yeah. feet tall. Yeah, that was so funny. I mean, that's classic them too. They, right. They're, they're, yeah, yeah. They don't they're, want to get their hands dirty. Just let the others deal with it, and then they'll mm-hmm. explode you later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have no, yeah, they have, that was. They have, I think that was my favorite part. I was like really kind of like let down when they yeah. grew, and then that just made me like just giggle and be like, yeah, okay, I'm, I have to remember I'm watching Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Jason's hiding behind a rock, just you know, giving right, a he's thumbs just up. Like, you and- guys got it. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Jason's like surprisingly unfazed. And, well, uh, as far as we know, yeah, it, it was sort of a bummer because it made me feel like, well, Jason could still go on his award, probably, right? Yeah. Well, I would rather the Zio finale be Jason as the Gold Ranger up until the end, you know, and then mm-hmm. like Trey gets it back. Like yeah. I'm like, who cares We're about Trey? four of them? Yeah, I'm like, well, maybe that would be kind of cool if they had to fuse together. But mm-hmm. honestly, like, like I don't really care about Trey other than being there at the end to get the powers back. I think yeah. that's his only, it's his only they purpose. They kind of stole Jason's limelight. Like, well, that was, he didn't even have the last fight of the season. No, and it was especially disappointing because we didn't even get any Rocky in the episode. So it was like, it was like, <laughs> like, it was like, 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 so Trey is sad back episode. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, they uh, should have just ended it with the luau. That should have just been the last episode. <laughs> the luau was pretty good, yeah. I liked, uh, what did you think of um, earlier when Rita was like, I preferred you in red, or I thought you looked better in red. Oh, that yeah. That was good. That was a good line. Yeah. yeah. I would have been like, that what are you talking funny. about? I like red, but like, I got this dope shield Yeah, thing. it's like, <laughs> I look the coolest now. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? You've seen my gold knee pads? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I guess, yeah, I think now that i've watched a few episodes that i have to say that that fight was like my one of my least favorites when and, they were giants yeah when they yeah. were giants mm-hmm. like and i'm even comparing that to rpm mm-hmm. like i think them being giants was probably my like least favorite fight so far the luau 100 percent is my favorite so far yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i was just kind of like i was excited i was excited to see pyramidus again because i thought that was so cool last he's time so epic yeah right? he's and i was like epic. okay yeah. this is the this is the final five minutes of the episodes let's see the giant robots and i was like oh boo. well <laughs> it it, it kind of came full circle for me at the end because it's like sure they defeat the machine empire in that fight i guess but then like not really because then like the end with rita and zed mm-hmm. like that was like that was my favorite part Mm-hmm. Because it's like uh, first in their of, little RV. Because I didn't know they, <laughs> I didn't know they lived in an RV. <laughs> so they show up and they're like, "Oh, Machine Empire! Like you're so scary. We're gonna go. Like we respect you. Blah blah blah. Even though you just lost. And then like, and then they give them the present. Uh huh. And then they leave. They get back in their RV. And I'm like, okay, this is the first one seeing this. And they leave. And then they're like, ha ha ha! Like that idiot didn't even know. And then like as they're driving away the little whatever his name is like sprocket or whatever opens the thing and it's a bomb and they all explode and straight up that's a scene <laughs> breaking bad like I, i'm like i'm not even like i was like wait like they're driving away in the rv with a bed neck and then and like they gave their enemy crime lord a fake bomb or like a bomb it was like a, a hidden bomb like, I'm pretty sure that happened in breaking bad i can't <laughs> I can't explain what season it, it was but I was like, it, it, it was like, this is it. They based the whole show off of this. That was- and they didn't even die because at the end, it like zooms in on like, like sprockets and the king's head. And he's like, I'll get you for this. They can't actually die. I mean, right? like, it's almost forgivable for them more than anybody because they're robots. So it's like, yeah, okay. They'll just like, repair themselves. Yeah, exactly. Right. But here's my question. And I, this is probably going against the sense of the, the universe. But how do they all fit? in the rv beds because i don't know if you guys have ever been in an rv it's freaking small and so like the armor (laughs) and the little like henchmen jumping in like how who gets what bed like how do you guys live there i'm pretty sure that rita is the only one allowed to actually sleep in that yeah (laughs) everyone 
sleep outside. If I had to guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I would probably guess that too. I would, I would also guess she's the only one that cares about sleeping. I mean, I don't even know if any of them even give a crap about sleeping. Like, like. Uh, my thought while I was watching it. <laughs> no, that's yeah. funny though. I think you're totally right. But I can imagine like Rita being, like Rita, you're right. Like her outfit's so cumbersome. But she's the character I can imagine being like, what's all that rocket? And she has like her like sleep mask on, you know, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the yeah. face mask and the, the eye mask. mask. <laughs> yeah, and she's got this giant hairnet on or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think there's a scene where they're sleeping in the Turbo movie. Like, you're right, you're right. I think that's <gasps> why. Yeah, yeah. yeah I give my answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll tune into that next week. But like, yeah, I think uh, – uh, what's her name? Diva Talks calls her like, hey, how do I deal with the Power Rangers? And she's like sleeping and it wakes her up or something. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm and really like excited for that for some reason. Stuff, kind of. yeah. I totally remember that now. And then, um, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. And then there's the talk in the park where Jason's like contemplating life. <laughs> with mm -hmm. Yeah, Jason's all sad, which he should be. Like he's yeah. like, right? yeah. yeah. And, you know, it was cool because at first I thought that Jason was just being a good sport and that he wasn't sad. I was like, wow, you didn't really feel bad about giving yeah. them You didn't complain once about giving them away. But then I was like, okay, real. it was a little bit of realism there. Like, yeah, he's bummed. Mm -hmm. He lost his superpowers. Yeah. Right. Well, um, and even think about how long they've been, uh, however many years they've been doing this. Like, what is he going to do now? Like, granted, they're teenagers, but like, yeah. that's, that's an intense excuse me, that's like an intense kind of like conversation to like contemplate, like, wow, like I'm going to have to think about college now, <laughs> you well, know? It's, it's a well, really good point. Like, now he Go just ahead. has all the time to date that Emily girl. Right? From the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their, their arc came full circle where it's confirmed they're dating, you know, yeah, in, yeah. in this episode, uh, which was cute. I, I was happy for, for Jason. Um, but yeah, it's funny to think about that. Like, Jason already had to say goodbye to his powers once, you know? And now when he gave it's up again. The, and now it's again. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of a, it's, that's, that's, that's definitely a bummer for him. Yeah. And he never gets a power. Well, we see him come back as the Red Ranger a couple times, but we don't really know for sure if he ever gets to fight, you know, be like a Power Ranger mm -hmm. again, you know? Yeah, poor time Jason. Yeah. yeah. I get why people like, prefer him over Tommy because he seems like he has arcs and things and Tommy's just like what's the cool new power okay I'll take that <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That, that's sort of the nature of Tommy being the most the the most popular ranger is that unfortunately like sort of like Goku like he's just there to like be the one to win the fight so it's not really about, <laughs> it's not really about like getting a lot of interesting uh like the arcs. He yeah. like this franchise requires for him to be the most consistent because he mm -hmm. cause he he ma he makes the most money. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then let's talk a little bit about this side story of Bulk and Skull. Yes. Oh yeah, going to France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At first, they get like, what is it like an invitation for detectives? Like they have to solve this riddle or go meet. Yeah. But In a you balloon. Have to yeah. You have they get to, a balloon, they pop the balloon, there's a note in the balloon. Yeah, very weird. But it was probably for Stone, right? Not for them, and they just did it anyway. I think so. Well, That's the guy they... didn't seem surprised to see the two of them. Because do you remember he said he was looking for two detectives to take mm. to France? Yeah, yeah. maybe he did. Rec it just feels weird that he would try to recruit them because they're so bad in the show that <laughs> they even try to make them seem like they could Aww. be. Oh, they're bad has, detectives. Like, they don't even try. I know, <laughs> I know. But they just, they're so adorable. And they're then funny. He's like, a, the French guy's like a Pink Panther ripoff. Yeah, yeah, that was a little yeah. weird. No yeah. relation. Yeah. Oh, I was like, okay. what are you talking about? Like, I had to look into it and be like, what, are you, what is this? The episode yeah. cared more about writing Bulk and Skull a send-off than having Rocky in the episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, this is uh, so weird. And then it's not like Rocky gets to come back. Well, I guess he does. Well, spoiler, I don't want to say anything. But, you know... <laughs> Never mind. You'll find out in the movie. You'll find out. Okay. Rocky. You'll find out what happens to Rocky. <laughs> yeah. But it's just sort of a bummer. Like I really Does he was get hoping... stuck at Marshall Arts Camp? We'll we'll yeah, talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about you're, a lot. You're of closer it. than you think, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I think okay. He's, and this he's is sort of probably... perpetually stuck there in a way. If you think about it, I think yeah. it's really funny, and it's probably just me that thinks this. But as soon as like. I think of Jason and Rocky was at camp. I just think of Friday the 13th and I'm like, oh, Jason can't come and visit you at camp. Right, <laughs> what's, right. What's funny is, I don't know if you know this, Caitlin, 
Rocky was Jason's replacement. Like he when, was, when a Red Ranger that they replaced him with. Yeah, yeah. when oh. Jason left in Mighty Morphin, Rocky took over the role as Red Ranger. But now he's Blue Ranger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They changed Jason. Oh, up, so but, they switched. So then yeah. Tommy yeah. became Red Ranger. Because yeah, Tommy, yeah. Tommy used to be in the Jason role. He was like the extra color of the original team. Oh. And so then he took on the Red Ranger role because he became the leader. Yeah. Point. Got yeah. it. Now I have a question. Mm-hmm. Are these the same actors? From yeah. Mighty Morphin? Yeah. All, yes. the, the, everyone who was in Mighty Morphin, yes. If it's a new actor, it's a new character. Okay. Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, they, they don't recast. And then when do they change? It does, I'm assuming Turbo is a continuation of mm-hmm. this group, the right? The Turbo movie is the transition between Zio to Turbo. Which yeah. is the, okay. Yeah. And Turbo will be a new team or the same team? At all but one get replaced. All but one get replaced. <laughs> oh. so, so they, wait, yeah, no, wait, sorry. All. No, 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 no. No. Only one. Only one gets replaced. Only one gets changed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody else stays, but one. Yeah. At is first. it Rocky? Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, no. Rocky. That's why we were so bummed because Rocky doesn't get to do anything. Like oh, this no. is our this was our final chance for Rocky. He doesn't get to do anything in the movie. He's not in Turbo. You know, something must have happened to the actor that Wait, like something was then, in production. And then get this. Oh, There's no. an episode four seasons later where they bring back all the Red Rangers. Yes. And all the Red Rangers are there except, except for one. Rocky. <laughs> except for Rocky. That's not Rocky. <laughs> no, he's the oh, only no. one they don't bring back. And it's and it's sad because they originally pitched a cameo for him to be Tommy's butler. It wasn't even going to be like, oh yeah, be a Red Ranger. It's what? like, yeah, he could be the butler. Like, yeah. Wow, sure. something really must have happened with that actor then. Because like, that's like... No, it's yeah. nothing like that. It's no, just, it's, really? Yeah, that sounds yeah. super petty though. I'm not going to lie. It's bad luck. It's just bad luck, you yeah. know. We he does like to come back Rocky. though. We'll have, have to come to bring back you as the Red Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, One we'll time. have to watch that episode with you, Caitlin. I, okay. I get a good Rocky vibe from you. <laughs> well, Rocky's like the black sheep of the franchise, so we sort of feel protective over him. Yeah. Right? I, I, now know. I feel bad. Now I'm starting to feel protective. I'm like, why Rocky? <laughs> well, Steve, and Steve Cardenas, who plays Rocky, can't seem like a nicer guy. Like, yeah. he, right? He, stuff, he just seems so Aww. friendly. Yeah. Um, Rocky. Back to Bulk and Skull. The Paris oh, yeah. thing is completely dropped after this. They never talk about it. Yeah. They, they, don't go to, they don't go to Paris. They're just back with Lieutenant Stone. Like, like nothing happened. Yeah. In Turbo, they have a totally different shtick. You know, yeah. it's just like they just get a different gimmick. Yeah. Oh. We assume that they went to France they failed and the guy France. is like, you're not a good detective. Yeah. yeah get out of here. Yeah, get so, out of here. So uh, the notes I saw was they were writing them off because they were going to have their own spin-off show. Oh. Apparently. Like a That would have been awesome. Yeah. That would have been cute. But apparently I like dropped. them. I think they're funny. Yeah, they're great. It uh, almost feels like they're in a different show whenever they show up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they're not yeah, really yeah. there, like, fully. They're just kind of like, oh, yeah, we got something going on. Hi, yeah. Power Rangers. Well, when they were well, the bullies of the Rangers and Mighty Morphin, it made more sense. Like, they mm-hmm. were able to be in the plot more but mm-hmm. then it, but like their detective stuff doesn't seem to ever really bleed makes sense it yeah doesn't bleed into the ranger stuff that often i yeah. feel like that's kind of like a missed opportunity like imagine if like they were working with the rangers like oh we should we should contact the detectives they probably know something about x y and z and like i feel like that's yeah. such a missed opportunity to kind of like pair the two plots yeah they don't ever really get that kind of attention ever again mm. yeah. you know like that's even bad. they get <laughs> They become alien exterminators in, or something in one yeah. season. Anyway. So yeah. basically, they're just trying to find random things because there would probably, I don't know. I, this is just, I'm assuming they're well liked by the fandom. Well, they're Super. essentially, they're essentially Laurel and Hardy. You know, they can have any job and it's funny. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. so yeah. you might, yeah, they might as well. Because they it. couldn't, I, that's what I was trying to say is if they're, if they're well liked by, the fandom then they're not going to just randomly write off these two characters so they have to just keep finding new things to make them do oh yeah they showed up and they showed up in samurai like for a season you know like they got yeah they definitely get a lot of love yeah oh that's good uh some notes here because i'm pretty sure that was the episode you know that was pretty much yeah that that was was the whole thing yeah i would say thumbs up oh tommy and cat hold hands 
Uh, I think it sums up in the retrospect that we knew we got more. Like, you know, that like, that's not the end. But if that mm-hmm. had been the final season of Power Rangers, I would have been it's so the bummed. end for Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Though, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Super sad for Rocky. Uh, notes here, some behind the scenes. Do you remember what Goldar's line in this, mo- in this episode is? No. Who's that? He's the gold monkey guy. He doesn't really have much of a scene in it, but he would have just showed up with Rita. Yeah. Oh, he, he says yeah. something like, this isn't the last of it. You know, to yes. the, yeah. He oh, says, yeah, yeah, yeah. As he walks away. Uh, that's his apparently, like his last line in Power Rangers. <laughs> he just yeah. never comes back. Never but, comes back. Well, he's back. He just doesn't have like any words, I guess. He has those I, lines. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I wonder if that counts the movie. We'll have to see if he's. That's around. so sad because he, he, he said it wasn't those last. He said it wasn't going to be the end of it. <laughs> yeah. But it was his end. <laughs> it was the end of it. <laughs> but super sad. This oh, is no. the last appearance of Rito at all. Ever. Ever. Rito? Rito. Which one's Rito? He Rito's was Goldar's the buddy. soldier guy. Like, he was yeah. with, uh, he's Rita's brother. He's a skull army Oh, okay. Guy. Yes, yes. I remember him. He's yeah. like, did you guys not invite me or what? Yeah, he, oh Rito, yeah, who started the party with and didn't invite us? <laughs> yeah, Rita, Rito's. So this is his last Rita. gig ever. He's not yeah. back. Wow. So the, the costume disintegrated. Yep, that's it. The costume <laughs> yeah. broke it, and they just did not do it. Oh, oh yeah. wow! <laughs> I'm not surprised. It was already well loved. I mean, it's from Sentai, so yeah. Wow. But, yeah. Oh wow. Uh, this is Ernie's last episode in Power Rangers. <gasps> no, I liked Ernie. He's well, in the movie. He's in the movie, but they write him off, I guess, off screen somehow. Oh. He passed away, but that was much later, right? Yeah. I think oh, wait, yeah. the actor? Yeah. The actor, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. that's sad. Yeah. Uh, this is the last time they mentioned Billy until Dino Thunder. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, which one was Billy? He's he was the original there. Blue Ranger. Yeah. He used to be in Zio a lot, but then he kind of like left. Oh, okay, yeah. so I haven't met him. No. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's Well, that. no, you have met him if you've watched Mighty Morphin. Yeah. I watched he's, the very first episode, but... Yeah, he's, I, he's, I the, blue he's the Blue Ranger. He's the Blue Ranger. Oh, oh, okay, so yeah, the geeky yeah. one. Yeah. Yes. He, oh, goes off, he goes off to live in another planet. He lives on Aquator. Yeah. Which is oh, where the... Oh, okay. Aim, yeah. <laughs> it's where the, it, keep up, Caitlin. Kay, it's where the... I'm sorry, is. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, you've oh. gotten me this far, okay? That's a good point. That's a good point. You're doing a really good job. Yeah, yeah you're doing great. Um, Zio is so good. I, 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 I like that was Zio. cute, yeah. yeah. I'm very curious to see. It makes sense for why Jason's in the Turbo movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm glad to see more of him. Yeah, these he's last, in... Go ahead. These last two episodes made me like appreciate jason more than i already did well you you really feel for him you really feel like i i what i what it took my takeaway was how much i appreciated that they brought him back anyway at all at all all is what i mean like like Mm -hmm. it's so special that he had this second arc as the black ranger or as the uh, gold ranger (laughs) um and it made me want to go back and be like, I got to watch every Gold Ranger episode. Like, I want to know, <laughs> like, I want to know everything he did as the Gold Ranger, you know? Yeah, yeah. But um, thumbs up, everyone, anyone? Have a different yeah, opinion? thumbs up for me. Yeah, thumbs up. Uh, sweet. I th- it makes me curious how Turbo is going because you guys have not given me high hopes for it. <laughs> well, we're sort of like, I wish I we were seen showing you the Mighty time. Morphin movie first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're watching um, them in order backwards. So oh. we're going backwards. So, <laughs> so Turbo's next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So next week, let's watch. Well, let's get the Turbo movie. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even watched it yet. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet either. Um, we're gonna shift into Turbo. I, that's such a <laughs> cool. I watched the trailer today just to get me a little like, what am I into? Uh-huh. That's a cool line. It's a cool. It's a cool. It's a cool morphing phrase. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Shift into Turbo. I think yeah. that's cool. I think the key is cool. Yeah. Well, I told one of my friends I was watching it, and she goes, "The snail movie," and I said, "No, it's a Power Ranger movie." Oh, <laughs> it's way just, better than we're, we're sh- you know what? I can't say that. Turbo, the DreamWorks CGI movie about the snail that yeah. NASCAR. Yeah. Better movie than 
the movie you're about really? to watch. Really? I've oh. never even seen it. Yeah. I have seen it. I can say with confidence it has more whimsy and heart than the uh. Turbo movie. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, Mac, yeah. you're going to get attacked. There's going to be some diehard Turbo movie. <laughs> Nobody likes the there. Turbo movie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no one's going to. If somebody comes out of the woodwork. It's going to be the Green me, Ranger guy. Yeah, if they, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're just going to be exposing themselves. That's all right. they're going to be doing. They're going to be putting a target on their back. They're